Hello, we will study the combination between the present continuous and present tense today. Everybody know present tense? The verb that stands for present tense is verb 1. The formula for present continuous is B is MR plus verb ING. So we need two ideas or two sentences here. We join these two sentences into one by using the conjunction when. So subject B, verb ING object is sentence one, but this is a present continuous sentence. And subject uh, and sentence two begin with conjunction when plus subject plus verb one plus object. This is sentence two. We call it clause or adverb clause. Okay? Because the sentence that begin with conjunction when, we call it baby sentence or subordinate sentence. Another name is called clause. Here we call it adverb clause because the function begins because here we call it ever class because the sentence begin with the ever of time when okay so once again subject B object is a clause is a sentence when subject but one object is a clause is a sentence also but this is called subordinate clause or subordinate sentence why because this sentence is begun with conjunction when or ever of time when not the subject I am reading a novel. I is the subject. M is the verb to be. Reading is the verb ing. A novel is the object. This is present continuous sentence. Okay. Now, you are reading a novel. Present continuous also. He is reading a novel. She is reading a novel. It is reading a novel. We are reading a novel. They are reading a novel. These are all present continuous sentences. We arrange them by using the first person singular I, the second person singular you, the third person singular he, she, it, the fourth person sing the fourth person plural, we and they. Okay? Now we try to make this simple sentence become compound sentence by joining or by attaching the present, the present sentence behind them. When Tom visit me, visit, visit is a present tense. Why we put S for visit? Because Tom is the third, is the third person singular, he. So we plus S for visit, okay? Once again, I am reading a novel when Tom visits me. I am reading a novel is a present tense. When Tom visits me is a present tense. Once again, I am reading a novel is a present continuous tense. When Tom visits me is the present tense. So we join present continuous and present tense into one sentence by using the conjunction when. Okay? Now, if I ask you, I am reading a novel happened first or when Tom visit me happened first, which action take place for the earlier or for the first time? The answer is the present continuous. Why? Because it is happening at the moment of speaking and it hasn't been finished yet. The activity of reading is in progress, is happening at the moment of speaking and it hasn't been finished yet. I haven't finished reading when Tom suddenly come interrupt me by his visiting. Okay? Let's see. I am reading a novel when Tom visits me. You are reading a novel when Tom visits you. He is reading a novel when Tom visits him. She is reading a novel when Tom visits her. It is reading a novel when Tom visits it. We are reading a novel when Tom visits us. They are reading a novel when Tom visits them. Okay, guys.